This is Mission Control Houston. The International Space Station's Expedition 34 crew members showed progress on a range of science investigations on Tuesday, while also pressing ahead with preparations for Saturday's planned arrival of a new shipment of supplies on an unmanned cargo craft. Commander Kevin Ford started the day with a health status questionnaire. That's just part of an ongoing effort for all of the crew members to gather information about how human bodies respond to being in a zero-G environment for an extended period of time. Ford then uh, moved on to uh, loading software on a laptop computer in the Columbus module for operations scheduled on Wednesday with the CRUISE experiment. That's a European Space Agency investigation into ways to improve crew efficiency and autonomy. And it includes experimenting with voice commanding of the uh, procedures interface. Flight engineer Chris Hadfield gathered more hardware today for later operations with an experiment known as coarsening in solid liquid mixture. The raw materials for that experiment are being delivered on the Dragon cargo ship. Later, he installed and checked out the centerline berthing camera in the Harmony Nader hatch window. That will support the berthing of the Dragon on Saturday after its grapple by Canadarm2. Flight engineer Tom Marshburn spent his morning supporting the SPHERES Vertigo experiment. That's an MIT Space Systems Laboratory investigation employing some of the bowling ball sized satellites to create a 3D model of another object. The intent in this experiment is that the model created by the satellites could then be used to inform the free flyers autonomous navigation that they could look at what was out there, create a model, and be able to use it right away in order to uh, fly without impacting other objects. On the Russian side of the station, flight engineer Oleg Novitsky spent time today on a Russian TV documentary about life on board the station, and he was then joined by flight engineers Evgeny Terelkin and uh, Roman Romanenko for a Russian public affairs event this morning. All three of the uh, Russian crew members moved on to uh, routine station maintenance tasks throughout their uh, Tuesday afternoon on orbit. After exercise and lunch on Tuesday, Commander Kevin Ford moved to complete a changeout of a gearbox in the Amin swing bed. That's a NASA investigation into whether a vacuum regenerated amine system can be an efficient and reliable way to remove carbon dioxide from the environment of a space vehicle. Near the end of his workday, Ford will join flight engineers Chris Hadfield and Tom Marshburn for an educational event talking to students gathered at the Metropolitan Arts Institute in Phoenix. The Expedition 34 crew has a schedule full of science work this week as they continue preparations for the arrival of a new cargo ship on Saturday morning. It'll be delivering 1,200 pounds of cargo, including more experiment supplies as well as crew provisions to fuel the mission of the International Space Station.